Sports with Gil Tyree and for K-Rod on this Thanksgiving night. The Georgia Bulldogs are getting ready to face in-state rival Georgia Tech on Saturday. So much is at stake, but before that, something more important. Our job is to give this great state of Georgia the best high school football coverage, bar none. Tom Haynes, the NFL's free agent signings begin, and the Hawks say Jay Smoove will remain a Hawk. Sports lives on the edge here on Fox 5, and we're telling you on this Tuesday night, don't you go to bed yet. He has six points now, struggling with the basketball, with Turtle Jackson still on the floor. Whitfield Academy with it. They're on the bus stop, spinning in the lane and going up strong with it. And the dunk, 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 coming over the top. Lorenzo Carter missed it. Look at this. I watch Kenny Gaines here hangs in the air and just catches it and brings it around. That's just beautiful. That's a look up high. This is what you saw in the living room. <laughs> wow. It was the Norcross Blue Devils who believe. The Blue Devils cap a perfect season with a 15 and 0 mark. Touchdown, Alvin Kamara! They rallied to beat Lovejoy 21 to 15 and claim their first ever. GHSA 6A state championship. On behalf of High Five Sports and High Five Nation, we want to congratulate the Norcross Blue Devils for a historic night and a historic year. A perfect season, 15 and 0, first ever 6A state championship. And for that, you are the High Five Team of the Year. Here goes you, Jay. Danica Patrick, Danica 196. 0.434. How does that sound, huh? Well, it doesn't really sound like much other than the fact that I know that it meant it's a pole position for the Daytona 500. So uh, this is a big moment for, for GoDaddy, for Tony Gibson and his whole crew, uh, for Hendrick Engines, for the new Chevy SS. Uh, there's a lot of people that can enjoy this, uh, this pole position more so than some other tracks. Danica, good luck to you on Thursday. Good luck to you on race day. And we look forward to seeing you here on Fox 5 here in Atlanta. And you have a lot of race fans here who are rooting for you in the 10. Good All luck right. to you. Earlier, you saw the uh, officiating crew here tonight. McLeod, the give to Tyron Jones, and he's in the end zone for a touchdown ball. With National Signing Day marching toward Wednesday, lots of news being made tonight. The Milton High tandem of Carl Lawson, Peyton Barber say they're headed to Auburn. And you got to believe the new Auburn recruiting coordinator, Rodney Garner, is ecstatic about that. For others in this high-stakes game of wooing, Wednesday is worth the wait. Or is it? We welcome you to the Georgia Dome, and it will be the fifth and final matchup here on GHSA Championship Weekend on the great GPB. An outstanding battle here tonight. We welcome you to the program. Gil Tyree, Trey McDaniel, and Dave Hunter will join me a little bit later on. But you know what? John Nelson set the scene. He said it's a 15-round heavyweight fight bout, and folks, this will be the ninth time that undefeateds in 5A have met. Let's take a look at Grayson. Eight nothing Tucker and the Tigers continue to drive. Turn in the corner. That's Miner. He's at the 20. 15, 10, hop, bye-bye. Touchdown. Touchdown, 37 yards. With 18 ticks on the clock. High snap. The kick is up, and it is good. Have taken the lead with 13 ticks on the clock. Wow! At their own 33, you see the man in motion, and the give is to Jones turning the corner. He has open space. He's on the 40, 45 in the midfield, still moving. He may go. He's at the 35, 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Walton, 67 yards. Tyron Jones. Sports with Gil Tyree on a Monday. K-Rod with a well-deserved night off. The Braves will roll out. Their newest acquisition tomorrow, the two-time MVP Justin Upton, will meet the media on Tuesday, 3 p.m. at Turner Field. Now Upton acquired by the Bravos with Arizona in that blockbuster deal. Uh, last week, seven players. Now bouquets and kudos have been thrown. Braves general manager Frank Ren's way. And Ren realizing the Braves needed to move forward from the Chipper Jones era, pulled the trigger on that mega deal. And today, while in Dalton on the Braves country caravan, Ren made his first comment. Comments on camera 
on the deal to Fox 5 Sports. So let's go up to the broadcast booth and to my GPB colleague, Gil Tyree. Gil? All right, Mark, thank you. We're going to be hard-pressed for a football game that Bob Rathman and John Nelson and Coach McFerrin called, but we're going to do our best. We have the 4A state championship game here tonight. Two unbeatens, 14-0. Lovejoy, 14-0. Tucker, as Mark talked about in the pregame show, this is going to be offense against defense. You take a First and 10 for Tucker at the Lovejoy 35. That's a give straight ahead. That's Landry. He's going to the house. 10, 5. Touchdown, Tucker. No flags. 35 yards. Unbelievable. We welcome you to GPB's live and exclusive coverage of Football Friday's Gil Tyree, along with my partner in crime, Trey McDaniel. And tonight, it will be undefeated. And top rack Norcross, the Blue Devils hosting the Road Warriors of Colquitt County, who come here from Moultrie. And the men of Moultrie, Trey, and the kids from Norcross, a whole lot of talent. They're going to line up for a field goal, 11 seconds to go. 10, 9, will they have enough time? The snap. The hole, the kick is up, it looks good, and it is good! It's over! A game-winning field goal by the North Gwinnett Bulldogs! Michael D'Angola, 34 yards! Wow! Second and five at the 49. 2.13 to go in the third. Seagraves out of the shotgun. And has a receiver there, and that's complete. That's Todd Boyd. He has space, and he could go to the hoof. Touchdown! Colquitt County, no flags, 49 yards. Oh, yeah. Doug, it was almost a lost weekend, huh? But the birds set the mark right here on Fox 5 today with a 24-17 win over the Washington Redskins. So is this the best Falcons team ever? Well, our quarterback, Ken Rodriguez, asked that very question tonight. Amanda and Russ, this is an unbelievable night here on the 11th anniversary of 9-11. The Lambert High football team paying tribute to one of their own. And I'm going to bring in the outstanding head coach at Lambert High football right now. Sid Maxwell, and I guess for you, Coach Maxwell, this has to be a special night. It really is. We Primetime football here on the great GPB Football Fridays on this week six of the high school football season. We greet you from the friendly confines of Raider Valley, where it will be the Walton Raiders taking on the Lassiter Trojans here tonight on GPB. With me, Coach Dave Hunter, and of course, Trey McDaniel. This will be a game that will feature a lot of stars here tonight. Cody Chaffins and moi are down here in the bunker getting ready to come upstairs. What we got cooking in sports? Chris Hope of the Falcons, a little light in the wallet for that hit against Victor Cruz last week. Aaron Murray, will he leave UGA and go to the National Football League? Only he knows. And in Philadelphia tonight, a homecoming of sorts for Lewis Williams and Kyle Korver. Those stories and a whole lot more when we join Lee's, Russ, and the Chief in that red bow tie. And we're telling you, don't you go to bed yet. All right, Mark, thank you. And with me right now, the outstanding president of Usher's New Look Foundation, Sean Wilson, and to his left, James Harris, a beneficiary of the program. I'm going to start with you, Sean. Absolutely. The whole mention about the New Look Foundation, one person, one world, provided by service. You know, GPB, we are committed to eradicating the dropout rate here in the state of Georgia. It's called Stop the Drop. Our video contest will be going on all football season long. We're inviting you, the high school students, to create a 30-second video PSA, which will address the issue on why students drop out of school and provide a possible solution. For more information, go to gpb.org slash stop the drop, and viewers will be encouraged to get their videos on, and of course, we'll air them during the championship of 30 seconds. PSA and a lot of prizes are involved including an iPad so get with it and get your PSA out there right now. With Gil Tyree on a rainy night in Georgia if the butt shootout is a snapshot of Speed Weeks 2012 folks fasten your seatbelts because it's going to be a wild ride.